Welcome back, everyone, to the final installment of Dante's Inferno. We're going to take a look at some extra features here. I guess I'll see what Gates of Hell is. It's called Arena, so I don't know. Defeat the waves of enemies within the allotted time. Oh, okay. You get bonuses for wave completion, not taking damage and punishing or absolving enemies. Load a game to carry over stats and abilities. Okay, so you know what? I actually don't care. But I will take a look at the other two things that are actually different. Downloadable content. Purchase it. Now nah, I got it. Play downloadable content. Dark Forest. I don't know what this is. Oh yeah, here's the Crusader. Yep, there it is. Beginning of the game. He wears his Crusader uniform versus regular versus Disco Inferno. I'm not doing that. Well, let's just do Inferno. It's fine. Dark Forest ought to be interesting because this is how the actual poem starts. You're just lost in a forest and then you find hell. Also, yeah, I noticed that loading screen thing said check the journal to read up on enemies and people you've absolved or punished. That is interesting. At the midpoint on the journey of life, I found myself in a dark forest, for the clear path was lost. Is that the actual opening thing? Cool, we're starting with... Wait, whoa, wait, wait. Did I... Yeah, I'm at full. Wow, okay, I can do whatever I want. I don't appreciate fighting a lost demon right off the bat. I'm just at a bonfire and just sexy succubus shows up, thanks. Also, hey, guess what? This sucks. I'm dealing with this now. Well, I can counter, that's not a problem for me. Also, I, I really can use my side attacks against even the, the Lust Demons, why not? They're only immune to uh, the cross, I can, I can take everybody. Oh, nuts, that's not good. Oops, I mistimed that one. But I didn't uh, mistime that one! Boom! Get out of here while the Lust Demons just kind of awkwardly watch. Also, I'm curious. I got all my spells. I only have one relic, but may as well equip it. Man, these lust demons though, I ah, they so so vex me. Although it looks like I killed the Pagan, so uh, we're doing this now. Also, that's a special move I don't remember purchasing. <laughs> that just slammed the ground. Wait, th this isn't the whole mode, is it? Just fighting your way through this one set? That would suck. I do not want to do that. I really don't feel like doing that. Okay, I'm gonna need you to drop, sir. Preferably today, thank you. I love this move, it's so dumb. What I don't love is getting interrupted. Also, look at our redemption bar, because I don't think I ever paid to upgrade that. Now I have three cells, that's insane. This is, I, I might have upgraded it once, whatever. Anyway. Now I'll do the spin. It's very satisfying. Okay, for real though, if they could just like go away, that'd be neato. That'd be sweet and neato. Was that another one spawning in? Like I, I don't know what they want from me. Like if you if you could just go away, that'd be that'd be really cool. Am I about to do it? No one else is spawning in. Is this gonna... Yeah. 
Oh my goodness. All right, what are my spells? Um. Yeah, you know, divine armor will be my lower one. Righteous path will be my upper one because I'm just used to that setting. And I didn't really use the other stuff. Love storm. I don't know. All right, cool. Let's explore the dark forest. Let's see how spooky we can get. Dante, I knew you'd come. Beatrice, is that you? What's happening? I will send the poet to guide you. You must hurry. So this is the prequel? Don't be afraid. I am coming home for you. We should fear only that which has the power to harm us. I am made such by the grace of God. Hurry, Dante. Now where am I? What is this? Wow, a living person. Well, I'll take the fountain. Much appreciated. Leopard. The moon's light shines from the north. Travel east, for the spotted leopard blocks all of the roads. So... Alright. I want to follow that guy, but I guess I'm going east. There he goes. Do I follow the guy? Oh, oh no, it says the moon's light is north, so go east. So this is east. And now the moon's light is coming from where I came from, so this is east. I think I'm doing this right. I still do see the guy. I think I am doing it right. Yeah, I think I did it. I'm a genius. In paradise, there is a gracious lady who has such pity that some rules may be broken. She is called Lucia. Look for her in your future journey. Who is she? Saint Lucia of Syracuse. She visited me and said, Beatrice, Dante bears you such love that he left that vulgar throng. They spoke true. Then why such cowardice in your heart, when these blessed ladies watch over you? Okay, low blow. Anyway. Syracuse, New York. Wow, St. Lucia. What the hell? This is new. Is this just a guardian demon, but it looks different? I think it might be just a guardian demon. Yeah, it's the same animation and everything. Could we not? Could we not? Could we not? Could we not? Oops. Try blocking that one. That wasn't such a good idea. These are just reskinned regular ass enemies. I know it's a DLC, but oh man. Also, there appears to be no point in absolving or punishing, although I suppose you can just get the move off early without having to actually reduce their HP to zero. The absolution or the punishment will do that for you. It drives me crazy when I actually kill one of the Lust Demons and then another one spawns in. Go away. You're out of here, sir.
You cool? We are not cool. Oh, it's the... Okay, the Crusader guys. Block this, you chump. Lose your shields, guys. Good enough for you? It's been a very long time since you've seen me use any kind of magic other than divine armor, huh? I meant to block the, the guardian, but okay, I'll block that guy, that's fine. I think there are too many guys. And we have another lust demon. This is frustrating. This, man, this sucks. I'm actually casting on the second wave of guys. This is ridiculous. You know what occurs to me? Because I've maxed everything, that means I have level 3 spells. So that ice move must have really hurt. <laughs> Divine Armor I legitimately paid for level 3 for in the regular game, so that's fine. Thank god, alright. Is there lore about... yeah, here we go. Uh, I'll get the fountain first. The moon's light shines in the north, travel west. But what does that even mean? Do I just point the lion west? The moon's light is from the north. So wouldn't I just go this way? Does it matter which way the lion points? Do I point the lion in the correct direction? It's reflecting. But now how do I know which way is west? Unless... I'm not quite sure I understand. Where's the moon's light? It came from the north. I guess this is from the west, so this is going east. Do I, like, I don't go back in there, do I? Unless this is supposed to be the new north, in which case I go backward? I'm not quite sure how this works. I, I don't think I get it. Okay, that was the wrong way. This is the north, that's the west. Do I just go back? No. I gotta figure out how this works. And now the game's getting tired of me screwing it up. I do not understand this. It says go west to satisfy the lion's appetite. Wouldn't I just keep shooting it in the direction it came from? Wouldn't I just do that? Is that all? Wait, but now it's coming from here? But wouldn't- well, like, don't I just keep going in a straight line if it should be going the same way every time? I'm not sure if I'm doing this right.
Yeah, this appears to be wrong. But I don't know how they want me to do this. What if I do continue to take it in some direction like this? I don't know. No, that kicked me back out. So maybe I was doing it right the whole time. It just seems weird that I just always point it the opposite direction from where it came. Like, I don't even have to do angles. I just keep going in a straight line. I think. So maybe I really was right the whole time. It just feels weird. Try it out. Yeah, I did it. That was strange. This guy really does not want to be here. Maybe I'll let the fountain sit. Again with the lust demons, like, we're really making a point of going for irritating enemies. What's cool is that I'm able to be a little more liberal with my magic spells if I remember to ever use them, because I have a purple fountain right here, and apparently another green fountain. Also, here's the wolf. I've been waiting for the wolf the whole time, because that was how the story started. Oh, that was much faster. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get a load of our little piece of lore here. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Seek the moon to reveal the murderer. Intercept him. What? The moonlight just rotate. What? I'm sorry, what do you want me to do? Is this like avoiding me? Do I have to catch the moonlight? Aha, I got you, right? Huh? No, what the hell do I do with this? What what do I do with the pill? What? What the hell sense does this make? I could push it back, but I really don't get this. What? Is there just a path in here? Is that the gimmick? I really don't understand. Just follow the moonlight. I'm going to do that. There, I followed it. All in the moonlight. I don't see where I am. Oh, I'm behind the pillar. Follow the moonlight. Follow the moonlight. Do you think I should wait for the moonlight to follow him? Oh, I did it. Am I doing this right? You know what? Maybe I will use the pillar to just block one of the exits. He's not going in this way, is he? Right? You got nowhere to go, right? What if I go back the way I came? Is there like a gimmick with this? I don't understand the pillar thing at all. Why is this here? Maybe this is how I'll intercept him. It'll take him too long to cross. Maybe that is how I do it. Possibly. 
this feels weird. I couldn't reach him. It just says intercept him, though. I don't know how you want me to do that. Okay. Well, this is embarrassing, but I had to look it up and see how to do it. Check this out. Yeah, I, th I think that will do it. Go in. Go right back. Whoop, got him. She wasn't my sister. She was my wife. Okay, well now the path has opened. And it has closed. Okay, here's the real fight. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten those fountains after all. I thought that wave of guys was too easy. Looks like I'm paying for my hubris. Cool, we have more of these miserable nightmares to fight. Alright. That's enough sniping. Only I may snipe. Fortunately, I'm not getting hurt very badly. This is nice. Oh wow, it's a proper boss level guardian demon. I still have my redemption ability, which I really never use, not even on Devil himself. I still have my redemption ability, my power-up form, which I never really use, not even on the Devil himself. I just use it against, uh, the Father. isn't having it. Too bad. Oh boy. Freaking Malakota. How powerful do I need to get? Come on, let me out. Ay, ay, ay. How much HP do you have again, sir? Oh, here we go. Get lost. I'm done with you. And I leave. Wow. All right. Guess what? No, I cannot leave, actually. It's always the Lost Demons, but you know what? It's not Hoarder Waster. getting low on health. You're out of here, buddy. I'm done with you. Now for your friend. I don't know how much weaker he might be. Oh my god. Alright, we're doing this now. How many more friends do I have? Or is this actually the last one? You're done, sir. Goodbye. Let's leave. Okay, nothing over that way. 
Oh look, civilization. Is this how I make it to Florence? A single will is in us both. Whatever happens, my love, we will be together. Hooray! Minor challenges. Yay, I did it, I did it. And now I'll show you one last thing. Trials of St. Lucia, which I also have never played. Nope. Oh, no, I okay, to access the online-related content of this title, I need to be signed in. Well, for Trials of St. Lucia, it says cannot retrieve information from the PlayStation Store, check your connection. I think I might be out of luck with this one, but... I got the Dark Forest, which was pretty cool. So, uh, there we go. It was an interesting little sort of extra bit. It's the part before the game starts. We finally make it to Florence, I suppose, and then the actual game begins. So there you go. I believe the Trials of St. Lucia were something that involved high score, because I know that there were trophies where other players rank you and stuff like that. So those are... Either I don't have the content and I can't get it, or the servers are shut down, or what. Oh well, but there you go. That was a nice little bow on the top of Dante's Inferno. Overall, I'd say this is a genuinely good game. Well, we have done it. We have beaten Dante's Inferno, and we have collected all the things. I have to say, this was very enjoyable. I remember liking the game alright back in the day, and as far as gameplay is concerned, it's pretty much what I remember. You do evolve your gameplay with your moveset more than I thought, but, you know, it's, it's about what you'd expect from a hack and slash. You can only hack and slash for so long. But the levels were amazing, the symbolism was great, the enemy design was great, the bosses were crazy. That stuff was spectacular. Just about everything was a showstopper. Amazing. And the twist at the end with what the devil's plans were, clearly that was not in the original poem, but it was interesting so there would be a fun video game final boss where you felt that there were stakes. Like I said, in the poem, he's just a prisoner. Everything in hell sucks. It even sucks for the devil himself. So they couldn't quite have you look at him and walk away in Dante's Inferno on PS3, but it was quite an interesting result. And you know something, we even took a look at a bit of the DLC. I gotta say, the one that I played was quite short, 30 to 40 minutes when I didn't know what I was doing. It might be half the time if I did know what I was doing. This was a first playthrough, I'd never touched that before. As for some extras though, I was looking into the Trials of St. Lucia. First of all, you can't get it anymore. You can't even get the DLC that I did play anymore. I went to the PS store, I was going to say the PS3 store, which I guess is true. I went to the PS store and I checked, and, uh, I mean, Visceral Games closed down in 2017. I don't know what I expected, but there's just nothing there. I don't even think you can buy the game on PS3 anymore. I believe you can on Vita, which is a little interesting. Or I suppose sort of PSP, but at this point you would get in the Vita store, the PSP store is dead. I think you might strangely be able to get it there, but on PlayStation 3, demo only. But my point is, the, the DLC is not happening. Now, when I bought the DLC that I did play, I must have seen the other DLC that was available and decided against it, but it's been so long up to now that I forgot. Did I make the right decision? Yeah, honestly, I did. If you go into the main menu of Dante's Inferno, you can look at a preview for the Trials of St. Lucia, and it's effectively player-created challenge maps. Waves of enemies here, little things you can do there, and you can rate other players' work. There are new enemies. The video covers a summoner, which I never encountered in the base game. I don't know if there are more or not. What I do know is that you can play as St. Lucia herself. She's sort of another... I, I'm assuming another version of Dante. I'm assuming her moves are a little bit different, but it's another playable character. Although, if you do co-op, you could play as two Dantes if you so desired, and I suppose two St. Lucias as well. Also, in case you were curious, that making of baby video, what that was is showing how they 
created the, now I know they're called, the brat enemies, the little babies with the sickle blades. It turns out they made such a big deal of that because they actually motion captured a toddler. One of the devs brought in their kid. So you see them doing the, the stage production of the thing where there's just a little box and the kid's lying on it and then he clumsily gets off like one leg after another, stands on the ground, shakes a little bit, toddles toward his parents. It's kind of cute to watch, but then you see it in the game and it's this creepy demon baby coming toward you. It's a weird, I don't know, juxtaposition of charming and uncomfortable. And the dev said they wanted to have that reaction in the player. Do I fight this? It's a baby. And then it tries attacking you, and you're like, oh, 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 I actually do. Oh, okay. So that scene you saw when the little baby enemy climbed off of its little resting place, that was real. They filmed that. They filmed the toddler. They put the little motion capture balls or whatever on this kid's costume. Unreal. Kind of amazing. You don't normally do that in a video game. So interesting to see. But there you go. This was honestly a fun game. I think it might be more well-received today than it was when it first launched. Because, like I said at the beginning, this is just Christian God of War. People had already played several God of War games by this point. I'm pretty sure this came out after 3. I don't remember if the PSP games were out, but at bare minimum, there would have been 3 God of War games. Maximum, 5. 5. I don't think this came out before, or uh, after Ascension. I don't think Ascension existed yet, but still, I think people were starting to get a little uh, tired of just more God of War. Those games are great, but like, all right, we get it. And now we have Dante's Inferno. But with today's God of War games, you know, they look and feel very different. They go for a different attitude and generally different gameplay style. So if they were ever to re-release Dante's Inferno today, then I think people would appreciate the difference that it now has compared to God of War. And you never know, it may be possible. Visceral Games is very unfortunately gone, but they at least were able to remake the first Dead Space. I know that wouldn't be Visceral, but the property is there, so who knows? I wouldn't mind seeing this game come back, I have no idea how they would handle a sequel, though, with the Purgatorio, because it's just a different era of gaming now. I'm pretty sure that back then, the plan was to make another one of these. As obvious as that sounds, but another PS2, PS3 era God of War game in Purgatory? I have no idea how they would interpret it now, with both just general narrative changes and gameplay changes as well. Maybe we'll never know. But in any case, I'm very pleased that I've played this game. And thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this playthrough as much as I enjoyed actually playing it. And of course, special thanks to Dragon Chi for selecting the game for me to play in the first place. So where are we going to go next? Well, I guess we'll just have to find out. Until next time, everyone.